What's up, YouTube? It's your boy A Dub back again. Don't forget to visit the merch store at alanaway.com, buy some channel merch to help support the channel. And thank you guys, all you guys who've been using my Amazon link, it's been helping out a lot. Don't forget to go down in the description down below if you're buying anything on Amazon to use my link and go through Amazon using my link. It helps the channel out a lot. You don't have to buy the product that, of the link that you click on. You just get to Amazon using the link and navigate away from that item and get whatever you want. Check out, you still pay the same price and it helps this channel out a whole lot. I appreciate it so much, guys. You have no idea how much of an impact you're making. Keep on, Dub Nation, I appreciate you. So you see what I'm doing right here? I'm in the lab and I'm pressing up some more shirts for coworkers. Guys, I wanna tell you guys, if you have one or two designs, you wanna build this up, but if you have one or two designs that people consistently buy on a regular basis, it doesn't have to be that often, but it helps out so much. And I got coworkers that um, consistently keep on buying this shirt because they work using the shirt. And the company, if you order a shirt through the company, they take so long. I mean, I ordered shirts and it took me forever it took me like a whole season pretty much to get the shirt so if you're able to um, fill a, a, a void and if you're able to provide something to a company or to a small business and they order from you on a on a consistent basis like at least you know twice or three times a month you might get people that order like you know three shirts here four shirts there and you got two or three people that's doing that it will help out your income a whole lot so try to do something like that if you're designing shirts try to find a business or you know something like that that somebody will keep on ordering from you all right just some words of words of, of advice that will help you guys out building your shirt empire guys so you guys see what i'm doing pressing up these uh shirts for people in my company and um yeah let's get into the video just to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be stitching out today, guys, this is for my boy Super Dell at Super Dell TV. Go check out his YouTube channel. So uh, let me put it in realistic mode so you guys can see a better view of it. This is what it's going to come out like, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and put this thing on a um, thumb drive and take it over to the embroidery machine to stitch out. Let's go. All right, guys, we are at the embroidery machine and you already know it's about to go down. I know I'm going to need black. I know I'm going to need red. I know I'm going to need white. I'm going to know I'm going to need this uh, talking so fast. This yellow color right here. So I just sit them right here to the side. I'm going to go ahead and load up my thumb drive right in the thumb drive slot right here. Boom. And what I'm also going to do is uh, this design is going to take a while. So I know I'm going to go through a bobbin. Um. I got a nice amount left on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that uh, run out because there's quite a bit of bobbin in here. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, look, I have uh, this bright red in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. Let me see. Hmm, probably gonna use 800. So I'm gonna set that right here. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my design on the screen. I wanna show you guys this process. So touch the screen right there. Press OK. Um, OK to recall the last previous design. I'm going to press No. I'm going to press USB. I'm going to go over with the arrow. Let me show you guys the arrow right here. This arrow right here is how we go over. Um, you go ahead and press over so you can select the right design. There's the design we just made. Go ahead and put it on there. Press Set. And the design is all loaded up on the Brother embroidery machine right there. As you guys can see, a little bit overexposed. Let me dial it down a little bit so you guys can see better. Boom, there you go. All right, so you guys see that design. I'm gonna go ahead and press and edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and load up my, uh, my hoop here. Now, if you guys don't know how to load a hoop, um, then go ahead, you're gonna have to go ahead back. I'm gonna link a video on how to uh, properly get the hoop together. And uh, I'm gonna put it right here. I believe that's the side that goes on. I'm gonna put that right there for you guys so you guys can watch that video and know how I do this so you guys can follow along. I'm go ahead and cut this out to size right here. This is linen I'm using and I'm gonna grab some stabilizer material right here and and I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. Make sure that's nice and loose. Boom, bada bing. Got my fabric on here. 
Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Boom, this goes this way. Put that up in there, like so. Stretch it out nice and good. And I'm not gonna show you the rest. Let's just get into the embroidery. All right, like I always do, let's go ahead and load this up right here. Go ahead and get it flat. Slide it right underneath. Boom. Pull this, clamp it down. It's all ready to go. Got my fabric nice and tight, but not too tight, just a little bit loose. Let's see what color the machine is asking for right now. Let's see what color it's asking for. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna do our go around and see how big this design, how much it takes up. So boom, because we might not even be able to use this hoop. Let's see. That's the furthermost edge. That's the uppermost edge. Outermost. Okay. Okay. This is good actually. I could have actually made it a little bit bigger, but we're good with this size right here. Should be fine. All right. Looking good to me. So let's press OK on the machine and let's uh, press N. And it's going to tell us what color it wants first. And right now it looks like it's asking for white. So we're going to go ahead and load up the white thread. Now real quick guys, I'm going to load up this white thread. You can see how I do it. If you, do, if you want to learn how to do it like me, just go ahead and watch my tutorial on how to load, how to properly load the Brother SE600. Once again, if you want to buy, well I didn't tell you, tell you guys this in the first place. If you want to buy SE600, please use the link down in the description below to purchase yours. Boom, boom, we're all threaded up. Where are my scissors at? So I can pull the... Oh, here we go. Pull this little thing through. And we're pretty much ready to embroider. Cut the slack. Not too much, just the right amount. Boom, we're pretty much ready to go. Guys, it says this first part is gonna take 15 minutes. As you guys can see on the screen right there, it says 15 minutes. So it's gonna take a minute to embroider this whole design. The whole design says it's gonna take 31 minutes to embroider. Sheesh! You can see the minutes it's gonna take right there. 15, four on the black, six on the red, and one on the last white. So this is gonna take a total of 31 minutes to embroider, but let's get it popping, man. Let's get this over with, let's get it done. Dell, Super Dell TV, go over, check out his channel. This one's for you, he teaches you how to save money and cut the cable cord on your cable bill and how to watch programming without having to pay that money anymore. So let's go ahead and press the start button. Get this thing popping. See it doing outline. Looks like it's stitching out nice and good. Perfect. Alright guys, this is what I told you guys would happen and it happened um, and I wanted to make this video and show you guys once again how to, when you get the, when you're embroidering uh, and your bobbin thread uh, is almost empty, you'll get this message and you'll have to change the bobbin thread in order for the design to continue. So I'm going to show you guys what to do, alright? So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to press OK on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and press this. Um, uh, button right here to cut, scissors button to cut the thread. It's gonna cut the thread. I'm gonna go ahead and ra raise the presser foot right here, raised. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it one time to get the thread loose. Go ahead and release our design. All right, if you don't know how to do these steps, you gotta watch the rest of my videos. All right, open up this, take the thread out, take all the old bobbin thread out of the catch down below and go ahead and start loading up this new bobbin thread. Load it up very carefully and very precise because if you don't, you, you will mess up your design, okay? All right, so watch what I'm doing right here. Not even in focus, sheesh. 
Sorry guys, wasn't in focus. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow the illustration on the machine. Gonna go ahead and put the bobbin in. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Boom, 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 boom. Put the bobbin in, drop it in the hole. Load it up just like it wants to be loaded up. Follow the design. I put it around this little lip right here. Bring it around and go ahead and cut the thread right there. It's all loaded up and ready to go. Go ahead, just following that little groove. And it should be straight, that should be it guys. So I'll go ahead and put the machine, put the uh, hoop back in and lower the presser foot and it's ready to go again. Let's see how we do. Picks up right where it left off and we are looking like we're cooking on gas. All right, so this part is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the black thread and get that part done. I'm gonna load it off up off camera and then press the button. A little loose and a little bit. There we go. Check it out. Going around the outer edge. And then it's gonna go ahead and stitch the whole pattern out. Now guys, what's moving is the actual, the needle is obviously staying in the place, in the same place. What's moving is the actual arm. So, it's pretty cool to watch. All right, now it's done that part. It's coming around the second time. And this is a really, really thin outline that I made, guys. So you guys are gonna see how the machine stitches this out. All right, it's a really, really thin outline. It's not gonna be too thick. You guys, look how clean that stitch is, how nice and even that line is. That's because I um, pulled the fabric just the right amount so that the outline will be on the border. As I said, the more and more you do this stuff, the better you're gonna get. So keep on practicing, keep on making your designs and you're, you'll get just as good as me, if not better, because you guys are probably gonna be obsessed with this thing just like I am. But you guys see how nice that border is coming out. It's coming out really good. So, yeah. I didn't have to double stitch this part, but I did. It's okay. I didn't have to put an underlay on it. I should have took it off. As a matter of fact, when I go in the computer and um, redo the design, I'm gonna take this part off where it, what it's doing right now is it's, it's creating a, uh, I forgot what it's called. In the comment section down below, the, the people that are in the border, you guys know what it's called. But uh, underlay, I forgot what it's, yeah, I forgot it. But anyway, I didn't have to do that because it's already stitching on top of, of something, but this will reinforce it, it'll be fine. Now this is the third color going on top. We got the white, then we got the red, now we got the white again. All right, so there's the third layer of white on top of this, and you guys can see like, it's stitching out great, you know? Doing what it's supposed to do, it's not giving me any problems. And this is gonna be done, it's only take one minute, and then we're gonna start stitching out the lettering. You stitch out the lettering. This is the part where you gotta cross your fingers. But for the most part, when you um let the machine do the lettering, it almost always comes out flawless because the machine does really good at stitching out lettering as opposed to you making the lettering yourself. One thing that I shouldn't have did though, I shouldn't have put the back stitch on the lettering because it's really not necessary. But it's okay, it's just gonna make it puff out a little bit and it's gonna add a little puffy effect and that's gonna look great. As you guys can see, look at that. You guys see it. I think it came out great. I don't know what you guys think. 
Doesn't matter what you guys think. I think it came out great. All right, guys, since we're gonna make a, this a sticker, I brought it over to the other room. We're gonna go ahead and trim this up and put some fray check around the edges. First, before we start trimming, we're gonna put some fray check around the edges, front and back, and then we're gonna blow dry it so it can dry nice and fast. And we can go ahead and fray check it. All right, putting the fray check around the edges of the back. That's what I like to do. I like to go to the back and the front. See it seeping through the front already. Looks clean, looks professional. Go ahead and put one layer around the front real fast. Boom, real fast. Boom, boom. All right, so we got that all free checked up. Check it out, guys. Check that out. How clean is that? How dope is that? Super Dell TV. It's going to be a new iron on patch, boy. Yeah, got you. Now, guys, this is how it came out. Looking good, if you ask me. I'm going to clean it up, clean up the back, clean up the front. Got some um, material right here. I'm going to turn this into an iron-on patch for Super Dell and mail it to him, guys. If you guys want to know how to make iron-on patches, um, I got a tutorial on that. So check my channel out. Watch the tutorial. All right. Alright guys, it's your boy A-Dub, Alan Wade in real life, King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at King Alan Alexander. Um, go to my YouTube page. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry. Let me do that again. Alright guys, it's your boy A-Dub, King Alan Alexander on all social medias, Alan Wade in real life. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook.com backslash King A-Dub and Facebook.com backslash A-Dub Productions. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. More embroidery videos, more sick designs coming up soon. I think we're going to do Be The Difference next, her logo next. But stay tuned for all the vlogs and all the interesting adventures that we go through on this channel. It's your boy. Don't forget to visit alanaway.com to buy some channel merch and help support the channel. It's your boy, King A Dub, Alan Alexander, Alan Wade in real life. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. And I'm out.